Hey everybody, welcome to Keep Cooking with Pam Davidson. We're going to be making some potato salad, but instead of using potatoes, we're going to do low carb, so we're going to use steamed cauliflower. So I've already cut my cauliflower up in tiny little pieces, and I'm going to put this over here and start steaming that up, and I'll let you know how many minutes I steam it for. All right, while our uh, potato salad, I mean, while our... <laughs> cauliflower is steaming I'm going to mix up what we're going to mix it with and this is in my cookbook under potato salad but we're not using potatoes but we're doing it the same way so I got some hard-boiled eggs and uh, I'm just using three today and I'm just chopping them with this little rata chopper I know a lot of y'all have this old chopper from a long time ago all right, that's been about five minutes on the cauliflower. Cutting it in little pieces, it does not take it long to steam up. So we're going to just chop this up. I like to mix everything in the bowl and then put the potatoes or the cauliflower, whichever one you're using, in last. So I get this good and creamy. All right, now I'm just going to take this off of here. These potato, these eggs are still warm, y'all. I just cooked them. All right, we're going to add in some cut up dill pickles. I normally would put onion in, but I do not have any onion today, so I'm not going to put the onions in. And then we're going to put in a, about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. that in we're going to put in just a, about i use about a six to one ratio so put in about a tablespoon of mustard i think our mustard's about done too Put in about five or six tablespoons of mayonnaise. So I just use big heaping ones and uh, we'll just mix this up and then see what we got. And I'm also going to put a little dash of uh, nature seasoning on it if I can find it here. A little bit of nature seasoning. All right, now we're going to get our uh, cauliflower. All right, we have all this mixed up, and that looks just like your potato salad mixing there. Nice and creamy, and you can beat it around and not tear your uh, potato or your cauliflower up. So I've rinsed this in hot water. I mean... I rinsed it in cold water, y'all, because I'm trying to hurry it up so we can eat uh, lunch here in a minute. So you're just going to fold this all in, stir that up. This is good if you're diabetic and you can't have a lot of potatoes. It will resemble and it will taste, the cauliflower is going to take on the, the taste of the little mix up here so and there you have it cauliflower potato salad so you can enjoy potato salad even if you're a diabetic and you don't want the potatoes all right this is going in the refrigerator to get really cold <laughs> 